Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dips, and today I'm going to be talking about the items I made in February. We're really in February. The items I made in March. Are we in March though? The items I made in April. Yes, so I finally did some sewing this um, April. And these are the things I made. I actually I made eight items um, a t shirt, and then this bits and bobs. So I'm going to start talking about the things I made. All of them were from the pattern line. So you must have heard me talk about the pattern line many times on this channel. I really love them. I love the, the aesthetic. I love the patterns. And the first thing I made was the Franklin t-shirt. So the Franklin t-shirt is just a really basic t-shirt, but it's special in that the techniques used to sew it are quite luxurious so, but it's really lovely so I made that I actually wore it to London I went to London um, a couple of weeks ago with my friend and we went to my son fabrics and I bought some thread nothing fancy but it was a, I really loved making that t-shirt it took me a while it took me like a whole week just sewing 10 minutes here 20 minutes there um, but after that I think that's what really keep what really brought back my sojo because I haven't felt like sewing in a really long time. But anyways, moving on, um, I made a couple of other items. So I made the Worcester bias top, I made the Mercer skirt, I made the Crosby dress. So all of them are sewn on the bias. And oh my God, <sighs> it was, I used a week to sew all of them. I used um, a couple of days to sew, um, not really a couple of days, I used I made the the Mercer top, the Mercer skirt and the Worcester top in one day. I'd say one day because it was a couple of hours after work on the Friday and then a couple of hours on the Saturday as well. And then I made four dresses in 24 hours. It's just crazy. I don't know what came over me, but I really wanted to make them. So, Ewa, who is the owner of the pattern line, she has a um, visual on her Instagram where she shows you the order of difficulty. So the easiest thing to sew is the Mercer skirt. It's you literally just have two side seams and then elastic at the waist, and then the Worcester bias top with the cow neck, and then the next one, the next one in order of complexity, is the Worcester bias top with the scoop neck, where you have to pay more attention on it, and then you have the Cosby dress. So I'm going to start by order of complexity. Uh, starting with the Mercer, the Mercer bias skirt. So for most of them, I use this white um, viscose crepe satin that I had. Um, I had e I had 11 meters of it, so I, was, so I thought, okay, let me just use this to sew all of them. Basically, these are my muslins because I, I hadn't made them before, and I have a lot of silk satins that I want to use to sew items. So I was thinking, before I get into sewing with my silk, let me use a viscose fabric that's not as expensive as the silk to make my muslins. So. I use this. This is actually really, really good fabric as well. This is a dead stock from Paco Aban, but it's heavier, and I just thought it's going to be easier for me to work with as opposed to a really slinky um, fabric. So I decided to use actually good fabric so that if it worked out, then I've got items that I could wear. If it didn't work out, then I would have learned and I wouldn't have spent as much money as I would have if it was silk. So that's why I use this. And another thing, I went with my actual size, even though I am losing weight. So currently I'm a size 18 in the pattern line. Um, that's the largest size for now, but I know Ewa is working on increasing the sizing. So she's, um, I last I saw she had a call out for testers to test the bigger sizes so I made them all in size 18 without adjustments I wanted to see how it will look and so far I really like them 
I suppose you could also see in the videos I'll pop up inside here. Uh, so the Mercer Bayer skirt, this is really, really easy. I have a elastic in the at the waistband French seams don't know if you can see French seams can you see can you see oh it's not yeah French seams it's literally made with French seams everywhere and then the elastic at the waistband I really like this because it's so easy to wear you can wear this with many things I paired it with the as a bias top but next time i'll wear it with i don't know maybe a t-shirt or i'll wear it with je um a shirt a sweater it, it, it's it's you could use this and it's a white skirt so you could use it with many many tops many colors yeah so the second piece of item i made was this worcester bias top this is the version with a cow neck I use the same fabric uh, that I did for the skirt. So I could wear the skirt with this one, I could wear this one with jeans or with another skirt. I could even wear this on top of a dress, you know. <laughs> so there's so many ways you can style this. And I made the Worcester Bias top as well, but this time with the scoop neck. This one is so much easier to wear. You could literally wear this um, underneath cardigans. You could wear this under cardigans as well, but because of this, the cow neck, it's got more volume. This one is so easy and um, simple. This, it looks short, but on me it's not short. <laughs> so these are the two tops. The belt. <laughs> I made a belt for the, I made a skinny belt. I could wear with this. So this is the Crosby Buyers dress with the cow neck. This is my favorite version because I the V neck is good, but I don't feel very comfortable in it because it's low. Next time, if I make it, I'm going to change the V neck to a scoop neck or make more of this because I I really like this silhouette. I I like how sexy <laughs> I feel when I wear it again the same fabric I use for the others same construction it's it's, it's pretty much the same if if you make the Worcester bias top with the cow neck this is literally the same although what I the pattern doesn't come in the Crosby dress with a cow neck what I did was I took the Worcester bias top with a cow neck and I superimposed it on the front of the Crosby dress so I got this effect but if you don't have this patterns you could there is um there is the um, Sicily slip dress from So Mason that is also cow neck I think the the slight differences though um but you, if, if you wanted a bias cow neck dress you could use that one so this is the cow neck version and this is the v-neck version again same thing <laughs> but for the straps i for all the Mercer dresses, the Crosby dresses, I used flat straps. I found it much easier to make because my fabric is thicker. So doing the round straps was a bit difficult. Not difficult, it was just fiddly. And I, didn't really, I didn't have time for that. So this is the V-neck one. I don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of this one just because of the v-neck. Well, I'll probably wear it, but wear it with a shirt on top, maybe a t-shirt on top, but I'll see. So the v-neck was a bit, a bit more complicated to sew 
um, I struggled a bit at the neck here. So, yeah, I just, it, it wasn't as enjoyable sewing the v-neck as the others. But it's not difficult, it's just fiddly. Fun fact about this fabric, this fabric, as soon as I cut it, it started stretching on the bias. So I was sewing, I, I could literally feel it growing. <laughs> so, the, the four, of the four dresses, there is the same pattern, same everything. The only difference is the fabric. And it shows because when I hung them up for a couple of hours, they grew differently. This one um, lengthened the most. So that just shows you how um, how much care you have to put into sewing with the bias. Make sure you keep it, you hang it up overnight or for a couple of hours for it to grow. So according to Eva's instructions, with the bias top, it's it's not as important to hang it the way it is for a skirt or for a dress, but I hung all of them though. So if you see this one, see how long, I'm holding it really up, but it's not, I can't see the hem. That's because it really lengthened a lot. I really, really love this dress though. I made this in a lightweight um, crepe, viscous crepe fabric. It feels really good. This one is definitely going to get a lot of wear this summer. The final version of the Crosby dress is this beautiful, beautiful viscous satin version. I think this is my favorite one, <laughs> just because I really love the print. I really, really like this one. This one was really easy to sew. This one, the fabric didn't crease at all, so I was just sewing. It just felt like I was sewing on butter. <laughs> I was sewing butter. But yeah, this one is the, I think I should make a belt for this one as well. I just love it. The insides as well, dark grey. Um, French seams. <laughs> so there you have it. These are the items I made. When I sent a picture of the dress, the wisteria lilac dress, when I sent a picture of it to my mom, she, the first thing she said was like, ah, you need more fabric around the hips. I was like, yes, mommy, I know that it's a bit tight, but I did that because I'm in the process of losing weight. Like every week, every month, I've been losing like a kilo. <laughs> so I know that by the time some summer comes, I would have lost more weight and they will fit me more. So there's no point in me sewing something big now. And then in the summer, I'm swimming inside it. So. Yes, I know that they look a bit tight, but it's all right. I um, de I deliberately did that because I'm losing weight. Well, I am losing weight, so. But anyways, and what about you? What are you making? Are you making anything for summer yet? Have you sewn with buyers um, patterns before? Did you like it? So, so there you have it. I hope you'll come back next time. Um, see you in a bit. Bye.